All right, you guys, so the day has finally come. My head is cut off a little bit, hold on. The day is finally here. I procrastinated long enough. Uh, you guys, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't know how I feel. Uh, all right. So before I test for pregnancy, and I'm apologize first if I am pacing, cause I don't know, like I've been trying to put it off. I mean, I think it's a good day. I mean, today is May 8th, is it? When am I ever gonna know the date? Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I look at the date every day. I believe it's May 8th though. But I'm gonna apologize first if I'm pacing because I'm nervous, all right? I, I don't know what else to do. And I thought about having to sit down and talk about this, but I, I can't. And if I sit down and talk, I'm probably not going to make sense. So, this is real me. Take it or leave it. Alright, so let me tell you my feelings. Let me just tell you where I'm at. Do I think I am pregnant? Mm, maybe 30%. I don't know. I, like I told y'all before, if I am pregnant, I'm probably not going to believe it until I go to a doctor and they let me know like, yo, you're pregnant. I don't because I feel like I'm having a lot of period symptoms. My period is supposed to come on on May 10th and I, I am having a lot of grumbling. I'm having random like pelvic pain. I don't even want to call it pain, but it's just kind of like that period like so, uh, like I said, today's May 8th, and I'm supposed to test around 9th or whatever. Something like that. I'm procrastinating. I really am. And it's just been a lot going on right now. Look at... You guys. Where is my diamond? If I'm ashy, I'm sorry. This is nothing new. <laughs> Be a big girl. Clarissa, be a big girl. This is serious. Matter of fact, serious. This is serious, serious case. I need to wear my glasses, child. What am I talking about? Absolutely nothing. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if I feel pregnant. I don't know what that feel like. I don't know. So do I feel pregnant? I feel like me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like myself. Um, I do feel like I'm being fat. Once again, whenever is that new? I feel like it's possible, but I just, I, I don't want to get my hopes up. Um, I haven't been thinking about it, but I guess now by me forcing myself to take this test, it kind of gives me that little, oh, feeling I don't know. <laughs> I urinated already. It hurts when I lean against this now. Look at that. Look at it. My ring. It looks stupid with no diamond there. Or it might be a trend. Could that be a trend? No diamond in the middle, but just all diamonds on the side? All right, all right. So, go ahead and take this pregnancy test. I have the pregnancy test right here. Oh my God. I don't want to do it. I don't think, I, I think it's going to be negative. I really do. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit. If I got a stain on my shirt, I just put on this shirt for the video, to be honest. <laughs> let's just take the test. Let's, let's, let's just take the test. The worst case scenario is that it's just going to say negative and I'm just going to have to try again next month and utilize the tools. I have to be honest, I am disappointed in myself that I have not been taking my iron pills like I'm supposed to during the whole thing. And I thought that I was supposed to only take it up until my period ended and then stopped, but I found out I was supposed to keep doing it to help support baby. But no, I stopped taking it, so I think that's why I have my doubts, so. 
Let's just do this. Can y'all see me? I don't want to put it down no further. Um, yeah, just lean against the pee. <laughs> oh, I'm making dumb decisions. I was about to say, should I get on my knees? But that didn't sound good. All right, so I'm going to just read these just because I'm, I'm using this one. This pregnancy test. I don't know if you've seen this blue wrapper before. I did show it in another video. But this is by Clinical Guard. Why am I reading this like this is a review? Bitch, take the test. Oh! Okay. Oop. No one cares what it is. It's a pregnancy test. <sighs> okay, let's just... Let's just take the test. Hide it. And then we can talk about my feelings. And see if a couple minutes go by. And then wait until the pee start trickling up. Oh, it's going up. It's going up the stick. Okay. This is not first morning urine. Maybe I should use first morning urine. But. I don't know. I'm just sitting on this toilet for now. Uh, let's see what I can procrastinate and talk about. <sighs> let's talk about my natural hair out. Um, feels good to be out. I ain't talking about nothing. Okay, let me be honest because I'm being fidgety. And when I'm fidgety, I'm just not making a lot of sense. And I'm really just hiding around what I really feel. I don't think I'm pregnant. I don't. <sighs> uh, but I need to learn to get a grip of myself. Me and David actually filmed the mukbang. Mukbang, bang, bang. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Um, we, feel, we filmed that video and he mentioned how I had been extra these last couple weeks and it's true it's very true i i have been on 10 a little bit i've been feisty and i don't know why it could be because of this ttc stuff but i think it has a lot more to do than just that a lot of stuff going on in my life right now that have me frustrated and it's it, it and it's a lot of things that is not in my control and I think that's irritating me and because David's always around me, I tend to lash out on him or the little things annoy me. So if I'm not pregnant, I think I can come to terms with it. The next month will give me an opportunity to try again, to get my emotions together and to actually take the pills that I'm supposed to be taking. I will schedule an appointment with my OBG to tell her what happened, to tell her about my cycles because since she prescribed me the medication on March 10th, I haven't seen her. If she doesn't do anything, then I might look into seeing like an actual fertility specialist. Well, it depends. Let me take that back. If she tells me to keep trying but don't prescribe me any type medications or fertility or anything other than what I'm already doing, then I'll look in somebody else. Uh, I think I, I think I talked enough time. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide it over here without seeing the results and then look at the results. Let me say this before I actually look at the results. The biggest negative to this for me would be just feeling like less than a woman. I think that's that's a, that's a really big thing for me. Like I can't do it. <laughs> and I feel bad for feeling so like frustrated about trying to get pregnant because I know there's women that go through way more than what I have been, but this is my honest feelings. So all right, so I rambled long enough and I think I made myself feel a little bit better. I think I'm ready to see what the results is. If you hear this noise, I'm obviously on the toilet. I'm not farting. It's, it's the seat because it's caving in. Let me just slide it over here. Oh. 
it dropped on the floor. And I feel like I gotta look at it. I wanted to see it. No, it dropped on the floor. I should have picked it up. It'll be okay if I am not. I don't wanna see it before I pick it up. Okay, let me feel for it. Where'd it go? Oh, I got it in my hands. Okay, I don't wanna see. I can see why it's so hard for people to put their life out there. It's just like, this is too vulnerable. This is something private that you're sharing with the world. All right, now. I'm just brace myself. It's negative. Definitely negative. <sighs> yeah. I don't really see any other signs. I do feel like I can I can accept this. I obviously not gonna be jumping for joy, but just move forward. Try again. Um, I knew it was gonna be negative. I guess I just I really was just hoping that I was wrong. At least I know. At least I know, and I have the answer that I've been looking for, and I can just move forward. <laughs> I don't have no choice but to try and to keep continue to be optimistic about my situation. At least going forward next month, maybe I can just take my medication, keep trying. Try to focus a little bit more on my relationship. I think I'ma um, just wait and see if my period comes. But for now, I think this is gonna be it. <sighs> so I guess until next time.